Hi everybody, this is Sheila Aliens, and today is November 23rd, 2011, and we have some good news this morning. Russia's Phobos grunt probe phones home. The European Space Agency announced Wednesday, November 23rd, a ground station in Australia heard signals from Russia's marooned Phobos grunt mission, but prospects are fading for the probe to reach the Red Planet as scheduled next year. A tracking station in Perth succeeded in contacting Phobos Grunt, a 29,000-pound truck-sized probe designed to retrieve samples from the largest moon of Mars and return them to Earth. Officials have been unable to contact Phobos Grunt since a problem prevented the craft from exiting Earth orbit and accelerating towards Mars after liftoff on November 8th. Russia sought help from the European Space Agency, which maintains a network of radio stations around the world. ESA's Perth station heard a signal from the Phobos Grunt at about 3.25 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday. There has been no contact with Phobos Grunt since then, according to Rene Pichel, head of ESA's permanent office in Moscow. Pichel said no meaningful telemetry was received from Phobos Grunt, adding there was only an acquisition of a radio signal from the orbiting spacecraft. Phobos Grunt had a brief window to reach Mars when the planets were properly aligned to make the interplanetary journey possible. Vladimir Popovkin, the head of Russia's space agency, said after launch, the mission could be salvaged until early December. But many experts say the launch period has already expired, meaning Phobos Grunt would have to wait until 2013 for another shot at Mars. But that assumes that engineers are able to regain control of the spacecraft. Tuesday's brief contact did not produce telemetry to gain insight into the situation on board the spacecraft, officials said Wednesday. As of Tuesday, Phobos Grant was flying in a slightly elliptical orbit at an altitude between 132 miles and 197 miles. Analysts estimate the craft could fall back to Earth between December and March. If Russia can't restore Phobos Grunt and it succumbs to the effects of atmospheric drag, it would plunge back to Earth with a full load of toxic hydrazine and nitrogen tetroxide propellants. Russian officials said there was little threat from Phobos Grunt if it re-entered the atmosphere, saying the dangerous fuel would dissipate or explode long before reaching the surface. Blah blah blah. Thanks for watching.